Today on Made to Hack, I solder with fire. Today I'm reviewing this uh, 3-in-1 gas soldering iron set. I was rather excited about this one. Uh, again, from our favorite brand, the Dark Side, and from our favorite store, the one that rhymes with Flittle. Uh, we have a 3-in-1 blowtorch, hot air gun, and soldering iron, which uh, I guess should be okay and great for the shop, since um, you know, here in the shop I've been using this uh, crappy little plug-in solder iron, which, uh, yeah, you have no control over whatsoever. So I picked this one up, I think it was um, 20 euros max, I'm pretty sure it didn't cost uh, anything more than that. So flame temperature, hot air temperature and soldering tip temperature max, 450 degrees C, that's more than enough. Alright, well, let me open it. Oh, hold on. So it's got a blowtorch, a hot air gun and a soldering iron. Okay. Um, oop. Okay, first thing to notice, they give you a Rothinger uh, Industrial, uh, Rothenberg, sorry, Industrial, uh, I guess this would be the, the gas. Um, oh, and it's propane. All this for 20 euros, I think this, buying this separate will probably run you about 5, 7 euros. Which is interesting, because I guess Rothenberg is, I guess, a more popular brand, so the fact that they associated one with the other, um, maybe might make the dark side one look a little more important or professional. Okay, so there's nothing in the box, and uh, yeah, this is the uh, PT370 gas soldering iron set for anybody that cares, and, and I guess probably your uh, general instructions, don't kill yourself or whatnot. Okay, something or other. Let's get in here. So what else do we have? Okay, and that's the iron itself. Crappy plastic, but that's to be expected. Uh, yeah. You know, electric solder. Okay. This seems to be. Okay, that's. It's 99% tin, 1% uh, copper, so they um, didn't put any lead solder. Solder, which, well, I prefer the leaded kind, but. I don't think that, uh, that conforms with Rojas anymore. This, um, well, I suppose, what is this? Oh, this is the stand, I think, they had mentioned. Okay. Stand, that sponge. Ooh. Let's get some water on that sponge and watch it inflate. Or not. Okay, so it's got a, a tip already installed. Okay, that just unscrews like that. Okay, so that's the solder iron tip. Okay, we'll put that aside. It's the hot air, what is it supposed to be, a hot air rework? I'm not really sure. Okay, hot air tip. And then some other kind of tip, just a tip straight tip okay okay so this is more of uh, the solder tip this seems like a, this is a chisel tip and it's um, okay so it's a four millimeter chisel tip this is um, this way it's five that way is three so this is an oval tip and that's your you know, small uh, pyramid SMD tip, if you will. Okay. So they all just screw in like that. That's the uh, rework, I guess. And that's just if you wanted to shoot out flames. Hmm, who knows? Okay, this also comes apart. Okay, so that's... Um, well, it looks... I guess that's where the fire and this is probably where the, the air mix is in. Okay, so, okay, so that's to turn it on. It's for continuous, I guess. Ah, okay. So, 
Okay, and then it's on the maximum right now, but it's on the minimum. Okay. So I guess first things first is to fill it up with gas. Propane in this case. Ooh, different tips. And, well, I guess we'll just press it in. Ooh, nice and cold. So I guess right now it's probably primed. It's on maximum. Continuous. Okay. It's not really turning on. Oh no, it is turning on. Oh, it's got like a glowing now. So continuous, yeah, it's turned on. Ooh, and it's got a torch. All right. All right, that's hot air. So I guess if we were to put the tip, it would bring it down. But anyway, let me try to put in the, uh, yes, I guess we'll start with the SMD tip, get that warm. And of course, first things first is to uh, apply uh, <coughs> some solder to it. To, to okay, flux cord, good. Oh, it's getting warm. I'm going to uh, tin the uh, tip. All right, it's starting to melt. Rather, didn't take too long. So I'm going to tin the entire tip. Okay, so I'm going to remove this tip now, the conical tip. I'm going to put in the, the chisel tip. Turn this one on. They do warm up rather quickly, the tips. I must admit, however, I don't think they're the greatest quality. Okay, so we've tinned that. I guess, well, maybe if we turn down the heat, uh, that should keep it warm, as opposed to always going to maximum power, maybe and use it as such. I guess I'll try to put it onto a, a thermocouple to see what kind of temperature it, uh, it gets to at different uh, power levels. I've got a uh, thermocoupled thermometer here that I'm going to try to test the temperature. We'll put it on the maximum setting and see how hot it gets. So ambient is about 20 degrees Celsius. I'm going to put this on the tip as best as I can. Okay, so solder is melting on it.
Okay, so we have at least 280 degrees Celsius here in the melted solder. 303, 311, 360, wow, 370, 380, okay. So it's a lot hotter. I just have to clean the tip better, 380. Brass cleaner here. Go on maximum, try one more time. Put a lot of solar here. Three, 391, 397, 400. Okay, so we did hit at least 400. All right, so uh, I do have something to solder here. It's this um, small tweeter that I will uh, solder some wire to. If you want to see this tweeter in action, check out the link on the screen. Okay, so I've turned it on. Turn it some more. Okay. So I'll turn the, uh, the cable here, the copper cable. Slightly turn the heat up a little bit. Okay. And I'll tin the leads of the woofer. So you can see better here. Nah, I really miss it having the uh, that brass uh, wire that I had with the hackle. Okay, apply some solder here. Seems to work rather okay. I'm not a big fan of non-leaded solder. This is predominantly tin with a, a dash of copper. I'd rather wish it was an SNPB as opposed to an SNCU, but it's fine. It works. Okay, so we'll clean it off. Tin the tip. Always tin your tip. And then turn it off. And let it cool. In terms of ergonomics, it it's kind of unwieldy to use. I mean, I guess they put these finger pads here. It, to be honest, it's not comfortable. I mean, you can do your job, but after you know a few minutes, it might get annoying. Granted, this button does recess when you turn it on, so you won't have it there. You know, listen. I mean, for for portable soldering iron that you can take with you and use gas it'll probably get you out of a pinch um, when you need it um, well it certainly won't make it as your daily driver honestly I don't think uh, it's that comfortable I don't think it's that useful but it will definitely get you out of a pinch in terms of the plastic quality I don't know what to say because I don't know about plastics there's a certain uh, Canadian individual who is an expert in Arduino that I believe he does one of these tests. Sort of a sound test. Uh, to tell if it has any glass fiber in it. 
bricks uh, or if it's nylon or whatnot. It might be, I don't know. Might have that feel as in there's some fibers in there. So maybe it's not a the worst kind of plastic. Uh, granted, I'm not gonna take it apart necessarily just because uh, we might get bored of this video. Um, okay. So yeah, that's the, um, what was it called? The PT370 gas soldering iron. So technically it's got a gas torch, hot air and soldering. So let's, let me see if I could do something with the gas torch. I believe we just use it as such. I can turn it on. Oh yeah, oh, here we go. Hey, yeah. Look at that. It's also a torch. Okay, now it, this... Hmm. Now this has become, in my eyes, infinitely more useful with that torch up there. Look at that. Yeah, I guess you could even, maybe even possibly solder a pipe, or at least a small one. Maybe not, but maybe bray something, like brass models now anyway for 20 euros listen just you know you can pick it up throw it in your tool bin carry it with you it's not going to break the butt the, sorry it's not going to break the bank um it's not the greatest quality let's be honest but it it you know it might do its job i could totally see um anyway for the shop it's good enough to get some basic electrical work done, electronics work, to solder some parts here and there. Um, did an okay job here, totally fine. And uh, yeah, it's much preferable to these uh, uncontrollable plug-in irons that you get from the hardware store. So I do recommend, uh, you know, well, I mean, again, recommend might be a strong word but if you're in the uh, in the tool aisle and you want to pick up uh, a soldering iron that works with uh, butane propane and that is also a, a torch which now I'm gonna have more fun with it as a torch I think uh, yeah definitely uh, pick it up and um, see how it goes I didn't try to remove any paint with the scraper, I think that's kind of pointless. I mean, I do have a, a dark side hot air gun that I'll review at another time. I wonder if you could uh, maybe hot air rework something with this. Maybe remove the tip and then just... Um, is that still, still hot. Maybe by removing the soldering tip and then just working an area on my work as a reflow, um, portable uh, reflow gun. So who knows? Anyway, thanks for uh, thanks for uh, watching. Yep. Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Also, make sure to turn on notifications to receive updates whenever I post a new video. If you like what you saw, hit that like button as well.